Welcome back, you fucking pieces of shit. This time we are here in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm gonna steal some shit from our classroom, from Professor Fig's classroom. Botanical wand handle. Uh, that doesn't really fit my character that well, but it is a neat handle. Something over here. Oh, maybe something above or beneath me. It is good to see you, my fellow Nagi. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened to Pocket and Harlow at the three. Oh, let me go to the quest real quick. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late for the sorting ceremony. The port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one. Good sound, so fucking surprised, Daddy. You're a fucking idiot. If I'm honest, Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. I. I like how Fig said, "Don't mention this to anyone," and I've mentioned it to two people already. Yeah, you fucking dumbass. And I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Hollow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Hollow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibiri. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood yeah, that'd be Harlow fucking stupid if you did. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Manrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that the Nicholas Harlow runs Rookwood's day to day. With her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some Rookwood Black talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember. I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. <laughs> Be on your guard. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? They must have come this way! Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time. Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip bag your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Almost time for the ass beating. I'm going for cinematography here. Dang, that looks pretty. Yeah. 
Whenever I cross bridges, I like to turn the camera to the side. Alright, Lucas, how many asses I gotta beat this time? Three? Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Ones ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? Hell yeah, I am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Hell no, I'm not. I'll go to learn. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. Pruitt. Pruitt is one of my opponents here. <laughs> I'm not trying to go for this. Wait, there's four of them? I could never do like that. I just beat four people. What a victory! You won the tournament! Without getting hit. I'm just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best you list in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! What is that? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it! You are a duelist to be reckoned with! Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Oh shit, forgot to do my dodge rolling. Fuck. I guess let me go ahead and do my combination tricks here. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? I'm sure it won't be. That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. What? I hit, I hit R3, or R2. Fucking piece of shit. And if I can look. I'd love her packing that stuff, they're cool. You love what she's packing? Is that what I heard? No, like the way she packs her suitcases and like tanting all up. You didn't get the joke. I chose to ignore your lame ass joke. Thank you. You're a lame ass joke. Uh, come on, one did no come on, cast the fucking... That wasn't even my fucking fault. I was mashing the trigger and nothing was happening. <sighs> it, 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 
is X. This is what we're doing. Come on. <laughs> Nope. This thing does not know how to respond to controls properly. So, see, I hit it three times. And I hit I hit square. One, two, three. One, two, three. Screens for you glitching out on me. And one, two, three, four. See? It's only three after I hit four. I put it up next to the microphone so that people can hear it. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. It's just a dummy. It's only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. That. Seriously, well done. Training dummies not. will think twice before challenging oh you God, again. Oh my God, the greatest thing Even ever. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm I'll have to send you a clip of it. Training. Stay sharp, my friend. Lost to a new student. Hmm, I didn't see that coming. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. I any questions you have about the town. <laughs> That will be Tego, thank you for your time. Alright. Before I sell anything, I should make sure I'm wearing the latest and greatest outfit. Let's head to herbology class. The best jewelist won, I suppose. Ooh, Damn I right. got a new You can't be handle. beat, can you? You're damn Ooh, right, I can't. This looks sick. I also have this one. That one's not as cool. <clears throat> Wait, what else did I get? I know it's one that I want, but I don't know how I got it. Like, I don't think I have it yet. I'm gonna double check. Maybe not, but I have this one, which is not, which is cool, but it does not match my character at all. Right. What do you have to say? What can I help? <clears throat> I'll have no trouble selling that. Thank you. I have no trouble whooping your ass. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. You're damn right I am. I'll accept a challenge from anybody. <laughs> what is my next? Oh wait! Quest? I bet Pruitt's actually heading to. Oh, that's cool. So I just got done beating Pruitt in the freaking Cross Wands fi tournament finals, and now he he's walking to herbology class with me. That actually is cool. I love that the characters actually have their own schedules that they walk around to. So what's the point of this game having bathrooms if our characters never have to piss? <laughs> Shush. I'm just pointing out the obvious. Heck, why does going to the bathroom even need to exist if we have magic? Can't we just eliminate the 
Let's get rid of the, the parts that our body needs to excrete without having to pee. Be like, True. acidity removosa. And then be like, boom, we're good. You sterilize and heal a variety of opponents. <laughs> Point for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will approve the world potion of your own. I'm not even following the mini map, I'm just following Pruitt. Please begin. There's something in there, I just know it. Lumos. Ah, yeah, I can't do it till I talk to her. I'm not talking to her now. I have to follow Mr. Pruitt. That's Samantha Dale. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. I think it's Samantha Dale. Could be disastrous. Where the heck is? Where the? Wait. Oh, what's the wrong one? There he is. Wow, uh, I can't believe you almost lost <laughs> I stopped to see how it is Samantha Dale. No, she has not met this character. <clears throat> Hello. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, fuck out of the way, Lenora. Get the fuck out of the way. Get the fuck out of the way. Hello. Oh, How are you today? Hello. It's a pleasure. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Well, I look forward to growing. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuba known as the mandrake root. Here. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? First, let's protect our ears. She's my aunt. Keep too close an eye on me for comfort. Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. I am trying my absolute hardest not to make some jokes that would be a little too far. I just realized Whitney can't hear my audio, so I don't, I don't have no benefit of keeping that out. Something else out. <laughs> oh, no, no, no benefit at all. <laughs> I was leaving the mandrake out to scream. <laughs> like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get the best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. <laughs> Strange. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They Thank you. can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I nearly also, went deaf. I nearly went deaf. Well, yes, 
Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal, so remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Leap. Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star. Such a liar. I am a potion's master. Or roses. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Dittany seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That will be all. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wigan Wealth Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The Chinese Now time to go learn expelling You'll we'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I oh, have what a the dummy fuck? for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, That's new. Have a good job. Right. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading to the A portrait in the common room. Your my common room Mr. Pruitt has kindly offered to, to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Rude. Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. Damn. And he's good. Is, is Professor Black <laughs> really, really that good. that horrible that like, she wants to like transfer? Oh. Well, I don't know why I thought you were going to really stop I mean, on the edge that you were going to say, is Professor myself. Black really that I mean, hot? I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Stop me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing Sorry, my throat started to itch. Typical Slytherin trick. And I had it like mute for a second. During a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Uh, no offense. Sorry. Whitney, what are you doing? Here we are. Home of the Sorry, Chinese people are messaging cabbage. me again. Like Jesus, can you just leave me be? Anyway, now, I didn't want done. our messages shoving just up on the cabbage Discord it, again. And they'll do the rest. Oops. Time to burn the fucking school down, you fucking dumbass. Yes. What the fuck you think you're doing? Oh, hey, it's another door. I have to use the Chinese shopping cart. Oh, hey. Ah. Look at that. They'll try them anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils and snapdrills. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like you stupid just me away. I was halfway back to the classroom. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. I'm not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Sure, just because those dummy. cabbages will chomp on a dummy doesn't mean they do the same on, say, a goblin. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. 
Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Ooh, which house has the most points? And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon uh, gloves, I shall end our lesson here. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? Ooh, does it actually I hope put they points in there? Trouble. Ooh, don't no, see there is points. Marks or missing digits. Yeah. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin have no points. As you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I mean, uh, that's such a, I literally heard them say points for Ravenclaw awesome. in your classroom. <laughs> I'm going to be nice to her, because this is Professor Garland. Yeah, it looks like couple of points right now. Tend to your garden, yeah, because it's yours. To you. huh. Well, I suppose <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my dumbasses students. care about the points. Hi. Oh, hi, Peeves. Peeves. <laughs> oh, yeah, Peeves. <laughs> Peeves. <laughs> Peeves. <laughs> Peeves and Butthead. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to be oh. all for this episode. Um, in the next episode, I'll be attending, what is it, potions class? That's next. Yeah. We're gonna go to the potions class next. So, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>